wake up with some great music. I'm so excited because our friend Eric Darius is back. Unleashed is the latest album, drops tomorrow. Literally made time for us in your schedule because you are in the middle of a tour right now. So busy. Good Absolutely. To see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to be here. Oh, we love when you are here. We not only love your music, but getting to know you and the work you do in the community. Literally, like four days here because you are getting ready to once again play in the Bay Area. Yes, yes. I'm so excited. Brand new album, Unleashed, which is the second album on my own record label, Sagittarius Music, comes out tomorrow. And uh, I wanted to kick off the album release here in my hometown. So I'm really excited about being here. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you were able to do that. Actually, playing at the Palladium, which you were saying before we got started, you haven't played in a while. It's been a long time. It might have been sometime around when I was still in college at USF. So I'm really excited to go back. Good venue. Great venue, great acoustics, and I'm um, looking forward to an amazing night. Well, let's talk about this amazing new album, Unleashed. You also touched on your own record label here. You know, I was telling you also before we got started, I went back and was looking at all of the albums that you've done. How does this one differ? What does this album mean to you? What are your thoughts overall? Uh, well, you know, honestly, I really do feel like this is my best album yet. You know, so much has gone on in the world over these last few years, and personally for me, and I feel like there's just been so much growth personally, and uh, I really do feel like it's reflected in this new album. You know, I really wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone. So this is the first time I've actually gone live in the studio with a full band and we recorded simultaneously, wow. recorded 10 songs in two days. And uh, just the raw, authentic energy of this project is completely different than anything I've ever done. And it crosses from R&B to hip hop, pop to rock. Um, there's some gospel, some Afro influences. So I'm really excited about everyone experiencing this journey that I've been on. You know, I think you just touched on something really important, how you wanted to be outside of your comfort zone, stepping outside of the box. How important is that to you being an artist to make sure you're constantly doing that and giving folks something new, but also new for yourself? You know, I think that's probably one of the singular most important thing as an artist is we have to continue pushing ourselves. And for me personally, I want to continue evolving and I want to keep stretching the boundaries and I want to make music that's relevant for all generations. So it requires me to just step out of my comfort zone and just keep incorporating new elements and new sounds and uh, just explore the unknown and just let the magic happen. Uh, speaking of all generations, I want to go back because you are so passionate about helping education. I mean, even look at this concert that is tomorrow night. The proceeds are going. Proceeds are going to the Clearwater Jazz Holiday. It's going to go towards their education systems and their outreach programs. And I'm really excited about that. As a matter of fact, we're bringing in two students from their Young Lions program to perform with us that's not, that night. So it's going to be an amazing time. Oh, that's so cool. And, and I know you're passionate about spending time in the classroom. I mean, when you're not on the road with this incredibly busy <laughs> schedule like right. you're doing now, you do like to get in the classroom and give back to the community. That, by the way, you are from here, in case people don't know. Absolutely. Yeah, this is my hometown. Grew up here in Tampa. Went to Blake High School of the Arts. And, uh, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be the artist I am today had it not been for the opportunities I had in school. Um, so, you know, I started this On a Mission in the Schools campaign about 14 years ago, and that's all about just encouraging the younger generation, exposing them to jazz, encouraging them to follow their dreams and play musical instruments, just to keep the music alive in the schools, because uh, the students need that creative outlet, because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that. Yes, they do. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Well, of course, since we've got Eric, that means we've got to let him play, right? As we do that, tell us what song we're going to be hearing, what we're going to get a sneak peek of, and of course, there's the details, so you can get your tickets. There's only a few tickets left, everybody, so check out mypalladium.org. Again, it's all happening tomorrow night. In the meantime, what are we going to hear? You're going to hear my latest single that's called That's My Jam, and it features a 15-year-old prodigy on the talk box and the keyboard. His name is Justin Lee Schultz, and I'm so proud to say this song is number number five on the Billboard charts as we speak, uh, so I'm excited to perform this song. So excited to hear it. Take it away, Eric. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 